Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this Cinema 4D video tutorial, we're going to be taking a quick look at the pin material tag. So let's just get straight into it. I've got a simple scene here, and uh, within this scene, I've got three heads, and each of these heads is in a subdivision surface, and it has a bend deformer as a child. Now, I'll get to, into that in a minute. Now, these three heads are actually going to demonstrate problems that arise when uh, UV mapped surfaces are placed within subdivision surfaces and how the pin material tag can help out with that. Also, there's a problem associated with deformation as well. So let's have a look at our first head here. Uh, as you can see, all of our heads have this checkered material on it. So I've just put a checkerboard, um, checkerboard inside the color channel and colored it appropriately to give this effect. And on each of our heads, if we have a look at the tag here, we can see that the projection is flat. And if we choose our texture mode, you can see that that's the um, size and shape of the projection and it's being projected along the Z. And that is true for all three of these heads. They've got exactly the same um, projection on them. So let's get back to our first one, go back to object mode and we'll have a zoom in. Okay, so <clears throat> this head has got our texture tag on it, flat projection and we've got a subdivision surface on it and everything looks fine but there is a problem that when we go to our bend deformer and turn up the strength we get this effect and as you can see our texture is not stuck to the surface of our of our head uh, it's almost like our head is moving through um, a volume and this, this texture is sort of permeating world space and this head is just sort of moving through it. So one way that we can get around this, and in fact, it's the normal way uh, that we can make sure that this texture is actually applied to the model in it and, you know, stays on the model even through deformation is by making sure that we have UVs for our object. And in this case, you can see that our head hasn't got a UV map. And even if it did, this is set to flat. So it's been flat projected. It's not using the UVs. So that brings me on to our second model then. This is set up in very much the same way. So let's just close this up. Uh, it's an exact copy of the first head. Um, it's got the same material and it's been flat projected and it's also in a subdivision surface. So for the time being, I'm gonna turn the subdivision surface off and we're gonna actually generate UVs for this projection. So we want this kind of flat projection, but we want it to be, you know, stored in a UV map. So I'm gonna choose this tag, go to tags up here and say generate UV coordinates. Do you want sub objects to be included? No, that's fine. And as you can see, not much has changed. We have a UV uh, tag now, and if we go to our material tag, you can see that the projection is now UV mapping. It's utilizing this UV. And if we go to the bend deformer and turn up the strength, we can see now that this is actually attached to the surface of this model. But there is an associated problem with UV mapping like this and um, subdivision surfaces. So let's turn the subdivision surface back on and you can see straight away that there's some problems. This line here has got this slight wobble on it and you might be thinking, well, didn't, did the first one? Well, let's go back. This is why I left this head here. You can see that this edge is very smooth. Same here, same with this edge here. And if we check the same edges back here on our second model, now that it's got UVs, oh, excuse me. We can see that we've got this unsightly wobble here and here as well and here and well everywhere pretty much so now we're in a situation where the bend works as we'd be expected it's sticking to the surface but we've got this unsightly wobble associated with uvs and subdivision surfaces so that brings me on to my third head and this is the one in which we're going to use the pin material tag so as you can see this is uh let's have a look Select our head, select the tag. Uh, the material tag is flat projected, just like the first first one here, so we haven't got this wobble problem here. 
but much like the first one we've got a problem when we bend it, it seems to be moving through sort of the texture there so what we're going to do is grab the head right click material tags pin material we've now got this pin material tag and um, within this tag we've got record and reset we actually don't need to press anything here because when you add the pin material tag it automatically stores information about um uh, the projection of the tag and it, it's effectively hit the record button when it's when it gets added so with that in mind now let's go to the bend tag and have a look as we can see this is now stuck to the surface of our model even though it doesn't have a uv tag if we go go to our material tag it's still flat but this is making the projection, this flat projection, stick to the surface. And that's why, with this uh, bend, um, it's behaving as you'd expect. And the upshot of using this method is that if we check out the surface of our checkerboard, very smooth. Unlike head 2, which has this wobble. So our third head here is it's almost like it's got the best of both worlds um it's got the it's got the material stuck to the surface much like number two but unlike number two it has smooth um projection effectively so that's what you do if you wanted to save your uh projection whether that be flat or any other projection if you wanted to stick that to the surface of an object that's inside a subdivision surface um, this is how you do it and avoid getting this weird wobble here. Okay, so to demonstrate this even further, I've actually got another scene set up. So let's switch over to this scene. And in this scene, I've just got a wine bottle. And in front of this wine bottle, I've got a plane. And it's got this checkered texture on it. And much like our other scene, if I choose this texture tag, we can see that it's got a flat projection on it. And um, which means that if I move this plane uh well actually it's stuck it's stuck to it actually because the this flat projection texture will actually move with the object when we move it but much like the other scene i've i've got a deformer on it it's a wrap deformer so it's going to wrap around this bottle so let's turn up the tension of this as you can see when we deform this plane we're getting some deformation when it comes to the actual texture you can see that it's been stretched here on the edges now in this case you might be thinking well this plane isn't in a subdivision surface so we could actually generate uv coordinates for this and you'd be right so what we could do is we could grab this plane make it editable um, it's now got a uv tag on it and now when we up the tension of our wrap oh no it's still been it's still being um, stretched, and that's because this tag is still projecting flat. So what I'm going to do is actually get rid of this UV tag. Now this is editable. I can select our texture, our material tag even, go to tags, and say generate UV coordinates. No, we don't want that to be included. And now when we wrap, there is no stretching around the edges here. You can see that these checkers are all still uniform. But the problem with that is this plane, we've had to make it editable. So what if you were in a situation where you wanted this plane to remain a uh, primitive object because you may want to, I don't know, change the amount of segments this plane has on the fly. Or you may want to um, alter its height and width via Expresso. There might, there might be many reasons that you'd want this to remain as a parametric object. So let's just back up so it is parametric. So we'll get rid of that UV there we go so it's a parametric plane yet again and we do the same thing in this case as well so we choose our plane right click material tag pin material and now that's saved the position of all the uv points on this plane and if we go back to this wrap now um, and up our tension there's no deformation of these uh, edge U, um, uvs the texture is still uniform all the way around, but we retain the parametric nature of this object. 
so we can adjust the height and width and the material remains intact we can you know we can up the width of it we can even change the amount of segments in it and it has no effect on this projection and it will still wrap accordingly so that's just something i wanted to go over quick with you guys the uh the pin material tag how it can be helpful how it can get around problems with um subdivision surfaces and uvs if you're watching on youtube please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials you can follow me on social media at facebook twitter linkedin and instagram and make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials thanks for watching bye